What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all another video, man. <laughs> and today, man, I'm going to talk about new Philadelphia Eagles head coach Nick Sirianni had his introductory pre uh, press conference today. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna just give my thoughts on a couple of things he said and just what I think about, you know, everything overall going forward. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos. So um, feel free to DM me. And whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Um, come holler at your boy, yo. <sighs> Nick, 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 man. <laughs> um... I mean, for one, man, it's a press conference, so it's like, you know, you can't read too, too much into it, and you can't read too little into it, yo. Um, clearly, all that matters is, you know, we really going to know how we truly, truly, truly feel about the guy after week one. <laughs> like, after week one, we're going to have a sense of, okay, do we like this guy or not? So right now, basically, all we could go off of just what we think about him being hired to begin with and just a few things that he said, which, you know, for most parts may be lies because it's coach speak. Um, for one, the toughest thing that he got asked today by far, which we all knew that was coming, was about the quarterback position. And just from what I picked up on, he, just, he seemed to be gloating a little more about wins than hurts, yo. Clearly, I feel like he got hired to fix Carson Wentz because of his, you know, his uh, the, the fact that he worked right under Frank Wright, you know. Um, and I know today he said, basically, um, we're going to evaluate everything, which you had to expect him to, stay, to say. Uh, but just listening to them talk, he seemed to have a little more, you know, energy <laughs> talking about Carson Wentz and that, 2017 season as opposed to Jalen Hurts and playing meaningful football last year and playing good meaningful football last year um so for me I feel like unless Wentz goes out there in training camp preseason or whatever and just stinks up the joint I feel like Wentz is gonna be the starting quarterback you know until he stinks up the joint, like I said, in the game or whatever. Um, clearly, that's why Suriano got the job, man, is to come in here. You know, he's worked with Frank Wright to come in here and fix Carson Wentz. Because other than that, honestly, it really was nothing else that he said today that made me be like, all right, you know, like, and like I said, to be fair to him, a lot of it is coach speak. It's not like he going to go out there and give away his game plan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not like he going to tell us today, oh, when it's third and, and five, we're going to run this play when we see this defense. Of course, we can't expect him to do that. But, you know, I, I just didn't feel like, you know, everything was – he talked like he didn't even know the roster like that. You know, <laughs> like one thing he said, Howie got a lot – they got a lot of talent on the team, which no, they don't. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, um, you know, we got to look at the roster and this and that. Like, how you don't really know the roster like that? You know, I, like I said, once again, I'm not expecting him to give up game plans and strategies. But, yo, tell me a little bit about what you've seen in Miles Sanders. Tell me that you've seen some, some flashes in him and we really think that we could get him going. Tell us what you've seen in Dallas Goddard. Tell us you think that you could really make some things happen with Jalen Rager. You know, tell us these things, man. Tell us defensively, you know, um, the coach is, is going to use Fletcher Cox in a way to make him even more dominant than what he is. You know, tell them that the secondary, by your defensive coordinator being a defensive back coach, is going to, you know, get these guys the number two cornerback position, whether it's a rookie or someone on the roster, it's gonna it's gonna be better, and not necessarily necessarily saying you gotta completely throw Doug Peterson and Jim Swartz and all them under the bus, but give me some type of hope, like you understand, okay, this guy besides the quarterback position, which you're not committal to, you just basically said I seen a lot of good in which you never once mentioned about how Wentz played last year at all, 
You know, you could have been like, I know he had struggles last year, but, you know, as a coaching staff, we think that we could help him overcome these struggles. You know, um, Jalen Hurts, as a rookie, we felt like we could make him, help him get that step into his second season. Like, tell me, lie to me better than you lied to me today. <laughs> like, I know you're going to lie to me, but lie to me better than that, man. Like, tell me th the things you've seen that, that, that they struggle, but you could fix. You know, like, I don't know who the quarterback is yet. We're going to see. But, you know, I feel like we could get both these guys even better. I feel like Miles Sanders could be a, 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 a big-time running back in his league. Dallas got it at tight end. Rager, you know, could, could have a breakout. Yet. You know, you, you up there like you don't know none of these players. It's like, he up there like, oh, well, I got to go watch. I'm not familiar with them. Like, and once again, why would you hire a coach? That's flat out telling you, I really don't know how to fix the problem, you know, unless you worked under Frank Wright. And everybody, and Jeffrey Lurie, who, my goodness, I'm tired of hearing Jeffrey Lurie speak. <laughs> like, I'm Jeffrey Lurie is one of those people, man, like, he got to overdo it every time. He wants you, he just don't know when to stop talking, man. Like, I'm tired of hearing Jeffrey Lurie speak, yo. Because the more and more I hear him speak, the more and more he lets me know it's, it's about him. You know, like, it's not about what's the most qualified candidate or best. It's about him. You know, it's about, look at me, y'all. Hi, I'm the owner of a team that won a Super Bowl. Hi, you know, I could get us back there. Oh, look at this guy here. I know nobody else wanted him. Nobody else paid him no mind. But, but look at this here. But, yeah, he telling me he don't know none of my players. <laughs> like... I don't know, man. With that, it, it wasn't, like I said, to be fair to Seriano, I can't really have an honest, honest assessment of him till after week, not even in the preseason. They got to be week one in the regular season. Whoever we play after that game, win, lose, or tie, like, then I could give a full assessment on what type of offense I think he has, what type of players he's using. The, I mean, the roster going to look different also. Um, like he just didn't, he basically ain't know none of the players, man. Now, I don't know if that had to do, you could have named the young guy. I get it. You don't want to talk about the veterans because it's a chance they may not be back. But I mean, you could have talked about Miles Sanders. You could have talked about Dallas Goddard. You know, you could have told us exactly how you think you're going to get wins and hurts to improve. You know what I'm saying? You could have talked about certain players, man. But it is what it is, man. It's our head coach, man. Me personally, I still don't know how he's more qualified than Eric Bieniemy or even Deuce Staley or even a Joe Brady. But he did acknowledge he will call plays, though he's never done it. Um, whatever, man. Like, hopefully, this thing here, this guy is either going to be a really, really, really big time coach that's going to get us another Super Bowl, or he's going to be fired in two years. <laughs> like. I don't think there's no in between. I think he's either gonna get us a Super Bowl or bowl and or he's gonna be fired within two years, man. Like that's just the, what I picked up from this because it's it's swing or miss with this guy, man. A lot of things tell you that he's not gonna be successful, but then again, he is an unknown and sometimes unknowns, you know, really get it going, man. I'm just hoping for the best, man. I, I, I get behind him. I'm not thrilled about the hire, but the closer we get to the season, I will get behind him and support him and hope that he's the second coming, you know, of Vince Lombardi, Bill Belichick or whatever, man. But we'll see, man. All we could go off of is what we've seen so far. And honestly, it was nothing really spectacular, you know what I'm saying, about what, we, what we've heard from him, you know, or what we've seen, man. But, man, Jeffrey Lurie, man, I, like, I'm tired of hearing Jeffrey Lurie talk, yo. Like, I am so tired of hearing Jeffrey Lurie speak, man, because it's just like, bro, I get it. You the owner. It's your team. But, bro, like, you're not this football facade that you're trying to portray to be, man. You're not. You and Howie, y'all not, man. We got a Super Bowl, and I'm thankful for that. But, like, now it's like ever since then it's been going slowly going downhill, man, to where it, it bottomed out last year. So, I don't know. And apparently Howie got all the say-so in, in the, the picks and all that. Seriano looked like he ain't got no say-so the way he was talking. So, 
I guess they got another guy they could control like a lot of people say. But whatever, man. Hopefully he does well. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, it is coming Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, 5 Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live, yo. Y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, yo, y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.